Hi, Sophie Keen Drunk, back again with something completely different. This is another one of my Guinness cocktails I've been doing. And this one I'm just making up because I have searched the net to see if anyone has done anything similar or named anything similar and I never found anything. So apologies to anyone out there that maybe watch this video and say, hey, I called my stuff that. I'm going to create an Irish demon. So for an Irish demon, what you'll need is Guinness, draft Guinness in a can and all the way from Canada a great find this stuff the Fireball uh, whiskey, cinnamon liqueur whiskey I think it's uh, 70 proof this stuff in your Guinness so what we're going to do, if you've watched my uh, depth charge, my uh, Guinness depth charge, it's the exact same thing. What we're going to do with that, take a shot glass, and we're going to pour the fireball in there. Now if you've never drank fireball before, I would urge you to have a go. There's two requirements of fireball that you like. Uh, <laughs> to love Fireball, there's two requirements. You love, you've got to love whiskey in any shape or form, and cinnamon. And if you love those two, just marry them up, and you've got Fireball. Lovely stuff. It's so potent. You can you put it that way, that far away from your uh, nose, and you can just pick up that lovely cinnamon bite. So what you want to do now is take your Guinness glass, your pint glass. Set of the trusty tongs if you can get a, a hold of them <laughs> and spill it all over the table. Uh, I'll have to do that again. <laughs> so what you want to do, this is a hard bit, obviously the tongs are a little bit, you, you're going to try, hopefully, and drop that without breaking your glass. And I've just about managed it into the bottom of your uh, pint glass and then what you want to do now <laughs> I've got fireball, cinnamon everywhere here. is open your draft Guinness I'm going to let that one settle, I've got a little drop left in one that I've just used and what you want to do is just sort of pour down the side of the glass, trying to avoid the fireball hope you can see that it's not actually went near the fireball yet. But you are going to cover the fireball. Whiskey. So just continue to pour down the side of the glass until you've covered it and that's that can finished. So I'll have to get my next can and just continue keep the glass straight. Try and pour it down the side the best you can. This looks absolutely delightful. Let's take it to the top. Keep it straight because if you tilt the glass in any way or form, you you're going to release the the fireball, and you don't you don't really want to do that just yet because that's meant to be the drinking experience. So let's take it to the top. I can't believe I just spilt a fireball shot all over my table. Cinnamon smell is fantastic. I love the smell of it. So anyway, you've got a pint of Guinness. Basically, that's what that's what you're looking at. That's your end product. It looks like a pint of Guinness. So anyway, supposedly all Guinness drinkers would let this settle, but I want to crack on now. And I'm really intrigued because of the heavy aroma of the cinnamon, the fireball, uh, Canadian blended whiskey, uh, liqueured whiskey uh, with the cinnamon, the heavy cinnamon contact. You've got the chocolate notes of the Guinness, the roast barley. I'd r I really want to see how this tastes. So anyway, this is so freaking drunk. This is a YouTube uh, creation. This is an Irish demon.
Slangy var, it might take off. My God, I'm lost for words. That is absolutely fantastic. That is so good. I'm telling you guys out there, and I know for a fact I've been looking at YouTube for a while, fireball videos, and they make all sorts of cocktail with uh, the fireball whiskey liqueur, the cinnamon whiskey liqueur, but no one has ever thought about putting that in a Guinness. And you guys, you guys are going to have to do this because that is that is lovely stuff. That is top quality. You've got the the fireball, the cinnamon, which is charging up just as you tilt your glass. You're getting the, you're getting the release of cinnamon sweetness from the liqueur mixed with the the dark roasts, the chocolate, the coffee of the the Guinness, and it and it's a ten, a taste sensation. It's an absolute. It's like a I'm going to show my age now, it's like a discotheque in the mouth. The taste buds are alive, they, they want more. And I'm not going to deprive them. Oh, as you go further down the glass, your shot glass. I'm going to show you this actually, you can see it now, the, the fireball starting to release. I hope you can see it. It's starting to release and it's going a bit, it's turning the Guinness a little bit lighter. I don't know if you can pick that up or not. I can see it round the, round the sides there. It's got a, it's got a, like a, a kind of tingy colour. But believe me, this is a taste sensation in your mouth. Absolutely fantastic. But, be warned, very addictive. You can drink a lot of these. But... You know, and I know, if you drink beers and shots one by one, you're going to eventually fall down. But it's this is a good fun drink, a good party drink, whatever you want to do. So anyway, this is Sofa King drunk with his creation, his Frankenstein, it could be, called an Irish demon. So, Slangy Va. And now hopefully see a couple of video responses to this. So cheers out everybody out there in Beertube land. Have a go at the Irish demon because it's well worth the effort. Ciao for now, catch you in another beer review.